it's Lee from coloringqueen.net and today I want to show you Dark Reverie. It's Ian Gray's uh, sketchbook and it's slightly smaller than an A4 size. It's about 10 inches by 8.5. Glossy cover. On the back we've got a couple of thumbnails from within the book and it's all sort of based on skulls and a sort of a more of a dark sketchbook there'll be no bunnies in here so I've got a soft cover illustration from within the book that's been partially colored in on the front cover there and then we dive inside and we've got that illustration again printed that's on the front cover so you can see what it looks like when it's colored in and on the rear of each picture in a grey there's the name of the book in a faint outline. Some of the images are orientated landscape style and there are some that are portrait orientation within the book. And as you can see all of the artwork is printed on single sided pages. Some have a pre-printed black background. Now the paper is trade stock quality, so you can pop whatever you like in between the pages and colour in with markers or watercolours or whatever you might fancy. All of the images stop before the spine, making it easy for you to colour in. And as you can see from the artwork, it's got a real pen and ink feel to it, a real hand-drawn feel to it. So there's a lot of black being used to give it some texture and dimension and indicate foreground and background. The artist signs their name in every picture. And it's so small that you can hardly see it, but it is there. And it's all quite skulls and quite creepy. Now when a lot of black is used here, when you add colour, it really makes it pop. You always see that if you look at uh, tattoo shows. The black always gives it that pop. There's all different line weights being used as well. And again, that's something that we often see when things have that hand-drawn feel to it. So we've got thinker line weights here to indicate that it's coming to you from the front. And then we have thinner lines down here. So if you're into skulls and creepy, then you might really enjoy colouring in this book. Lots of snakes and skulls and creepiness for you. And that's it. That's the end of Dark Reverie. It's a colouring book by Ian Gray. Soft cover. We've got our images on single sided paper, which is white trade stock. I hope you enjoyed this colouring book review. Until next time, happy colouring!